as what you miss. I'm not radio, even though you know, and I love Cliff because Cliff is uncensored and radio and scripted. I mean, yeah. I gotta love that. I'm a very free spirit. I don't want to be confined. But what happened is, I wanted to have, I wanted to uh, produce a TV show because I felt like we are playing in fashion. We are playing in a three trillion dollar industry globally, and in Africa, we only have, I don't know what we have. We have a very small piece of the pie. And it's very, uh, it's embarrassing actually for yeah. me because I feel like we work so hard. We are so creative. I think we're the, one of the most creative uh, continents in the world. So for me, what I did is I walked, I went, I tried to get some producers to do a pilot. The pilot backfired, tried again, fell on my back. Then I thought, you know what? While I'm still looking for these producers and trying to like, you know, push a pilot and, and push it out there. I thought, let me go see Gareth. And I mean, because I thought, I looked at all the radio platforms in the country and I actually remember having this conversation with my husband. He's like, it's not going to be. I said, I want something very niche. I actually, I'm, I don't want to be in radio. I want to be able to be a voice to speak or have conversations about certain issues. And I thought dissecting the business behind fashion, nobody is doing. Mm. So I went up to Gareth, went to meet him freaking out and thinking gosh he'll probably be like i don't know what you are talking about but here we have the sex show and the other thing and the other thing and the business show and i thought you know what? you guys what? have got a sex show there is cliff actually has a palette of if anything you're looking for you can it's get there, yeah. yeah if you're yeah. looking for praise and worship i'm sure there's a, there, there is yeah. i mean check out the podcast yeah. but i walked up to gareth went to meet with him in less than five minutes gareth was like you've got a show i was like you're jo-. no first he was like he'll get back so i thought okay when like i got back home gave, gave phone, uh, called me said liz you start on thursday i said you're joking and what I is mean, your show all about so my show is about dissecting the business behind fashion what i do is i bring uh, in different stakeholders uh to have conversations around the business uh of fashion i try to focus on the things that work so the conversation if i was having it with you Subu, would not be what's wrong i don't want to talk to people about what's wrong i want to talk about What is it that you're doing and how can we... Because people want to listen and know how can I be able to adapt to something out of this conversation? What can I add? What can I allow to influence my way of doing business so I can get in a better position to smile to the bank? So it's all about dissecting the business behind fashion. We've been going for three years now. Every Thursday, every week. It's an hour-long show. And like again, thank God for the podcasts because... They live online forever. They live online forever. Yeah, so I can go back to your previous shows and Yes. What are young designers, young African designers at that doing wrong? And uh, let me rephrase the the question because I know you're all about the positive mindset. What should they be doing to get into, uh, get a bigger slice of that three trillion dollar pie? Uh, I wouldn't say I, I have the answers to that, but I know for sure that like I'm also in the game. I'm also a fashion brand. I also wake up in the morning and some days I make the wrong decision, some days I win. Mm. So I think for me, it's all about trying different things. And I think again, for me, uh, they say some women fear the fire, some women simply become it. I am fire. So what I do is I will be walking in the fire burning, but I'm like, at least I try. So if it doesn't work, it, it, it we try something else. So I think that first people are not very... People are very like, I, I'm, I'm, I've been doing this for 10 years. Mm. Let me just stick with it. Afraid to make They're mistakes. They're afraid. And then another mm. thing is I want, I would ha- want to urge African fashion industry stakeholders to think global because you cannot be sitting in your corner in Pactown North saying, that's what I've been doing for 20 years. Are you serious? Like the, you don't the go world out, is you don't, the, the world has moved the, on. It, it, it has moved left on you and it has opened up. It is borderless. Mm. Like take advantage. So I think another thing is to just encourage people to try to open your minds. This is 2018. It's still the first quarter of the year. You still have an opportunity to wake up and say, you know what? I've been doing this thing on the corner for too long. Wake up and go. Go away. Take your thing somewhere else. Go tell your story or showcase mm. somewhere else. Mm. Go into a trade show then and just go away. Get out. Open.